Hi, my name is Casper Lee, and about seven years ago, a teacher of mine told me to stop making videos because they're embarrassing. And then yesterday, I met Her Majesty the Queen because I make YouTube videos. As I said earlier, I've been on YouTube for quite a long time now. I consider myself a bit of an OG. Original gangster. <laughs> Even have a microphone now. What up? <laughs> Sorry. But in all my time on YouTube, I never thought in a million years that I would be invited to Buckingham Palace. I even got a real invite. Let me go get it. It's in my toilet. One second. The dress code said smart casual. And when I saw that, I thought maybe I don't need to wear a tie. But I arrived and every single person there were wearing ties. And I just wasn't. I think actually the person I offended the most was Liam Payne. He seemed pretty pissed off that I didn't wear a tie. No, I'm just kidding. He wasn't angry. He just, I think he was jealous that the queen was speaking to me longer than him. When I got the invite, I really didn't expect that I was actually going to meet the queen herself. I thought I would just be there and kind of be on the side, maybe take a couple of photos of her from afar, which I, I ended up being able to do on my video camera, actually. But when I arrived, they're like, go into this special room with the other guests. And I met Mo Farah and some awesome people. Liam's my boy now. We're like, yo, what's up? We always meet in such crazy places. And he's like, yeah. And then I gave him this really good idea for a business. And I think he's going to steal it from me. But Liam, if you're watching, don't steal that idea. Then I did a little bit of press with the Associated Press. And during that interview, it really hit me how important this occasion was. And the thing is, when I get embarrassed, I get this huge red mark along my neck and over here. And it always happens to me when I'm interviewing really talented people or people I find like amazing. And it started happening to me while I was being interviewed. So I ran to the bathroom and started like patting down my face and being like, Casper, pull yourself together. The queen is just a human being. Stop being like this and she's probably going to find you awkward and embarrassing. So after a few minutes of patting my face down, I was put in the line and in enters the Queen, Her Majesty and Harry Styles. No, 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 wait, sorry. Prince Harry. That was a joke. It was just like, wow, that's a real human being. You, this happens to me quite often because I love doing interviews with celebrities and all of that kind of stuff and you see them on TV or on stage and you're like you're not a real person and then they walk into the room so they walk in and I'm just like oh, hyperventilating hold yourself together Casper you can do this you were invited by her majesty but that didn't work that well I was still getting redder and redder and the thing is with me when I start blushing I feel it and it makes me blush even more she's just saying hi to everyone I'm thinking in my head oh my gosh I've got so much stuff to say my mom asked me to say so many things like I can't ask her that stuff but yeah she meets Liam she meets Mo Farah and then it comes to me and I'm just like ah, I kind of like did this because I didn't know if I was meant to bow or I, I had no idea I just kind of Put my hand out she smiled the most radiant smile and i was like this is it this is the pinnacle of anything i could ever do i got here from working with a really cool organization who help others and they've rewarded me with the just the most amazing moment in my life and from here on out, I am inspired. Back to the story, I kind of said, hello, hi, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to say too much because I knew she had lots of other people to meet. But then she stood there with Prince Harry, who I introduced myself to as well. And they just started chatting to us and it was really funny because Mo Farah is the most incredible runner in the world and he's retiring at the moment. So she said, good, I think you've run too much now. And I just thought that was hilarious. And I think I internally passed out. I didn't fall physically because I'm a big guy and I would have. Uh, I then was ushered out the room to go and do some more press. And I, and I did something for the Queen's documentary. And I was just so red, just so red the whole time because again, I couldn't stop blushing. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like meeting her makes me more inspired to do stuff for the rest of my life so that I've done enough to have the opportunity to have already met her, if that makes sense. Because I don't feel like I deserve it yet, um, at all. But all the other people there were incredible. I hope you felt somewhat inspired by this video. Yeah, if you want to find out more about how you can become a Queen's young leader, go 
look in the description and do some good stuff guys because you will re you will be rewarded make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little story and let me know if you'd like me to do more story type videos because i usually don't do this kind of stuff on my channel and it was actually really fun and shout out to the new microphone